Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Lisa and today I am going to be planning for the week of April the 3rd. I am using this beautiful kit from Revere Planning. Um, I've had this one in my sticker stash for quite some time and I was really drawn to it this week because the the bright colors, it just kind of uh, screamed spring to me. So um, while I am getting all of the headers down, I just want to say thank you so much to everybody who commented on my moving video. Um, I haven't even been able to get back to all of the comments. There were so many, but uh I just want to thank you all for your encouragement, your excitement for me, and all of the uh, suggestions and tips that you guys had. Um, I really do appreciate it, and I even have a, a notebook that um, uh, I have a little section for moving that I've created and I am writing down all of those suggestions. So thank you guys so much. Um, there were some questions though, and I guess while I'm laying down stickers, I can kind of talk about uh, why I'm moving. Cause there were a few people that were uh, wondering why would I move uh, and rent uh, a place that's more expensive than I'm at now where I'm going to have moving expenses. And the, uh, the answer is, um, I am not going to want to live in this home that I'm currently in after my daughter leaves. So this house is owned by her dad and technically she is renting it. I don't have any uh, contact with him. I pay, you know, I pay her the rent. She pays her dad. Um, if something goes on in the house, she is the one that, uh, speaks to him. And I really don't want her to, to have to be the, the middle person, um, after she has moved off. Um, and so really it's just, it's the right time to move. Um, since she has a job in another area, um, I just need to start fresh. So it is not ideal, you know, to have moving expenses while I am also trying to save for a house down payment, but I'm just not ready to buy a house yet. The housing market is crazy right now. Interest rates are high and I just want to wait it out a little while and see if it gets any better and save my money. Um, I think I'll probably probably be able to move for a lot less than what I've budgeted. Um, you guys had a lot of great suggestions on, you know, downsizing and um, just, you know, making sure I have the least amount of items possible to move and um, move the smaller things myself. And when I really sat down and thought about it after reading all your comments, I realized there are really only a couple of big items that would need to be moved and mainly the couch that uh, would not fit in my car. So uh, thanks again for all those suggestions and just wanted to, you know, just talk a little bit about why I'm moving. Um, you know, I appreciate the fact that... Uh, her dad has allowed us to rent this place for as long as uh, he has. Um, but, you know, I, this is a really good opportunity for me to live next door to some people that I already know. Um, I'm out in the country right now. And if anything should go uh, south, I don't really have any neighbors I can turn to. And being in a situation where I'll live next to someone who is a friend and that I trust, um, you know, gives me, gives me some comforts and being 
uh, closer in town. So hopefully that answers, you know, some questions about the why. You know, I, I don't really talk about the relationship that I have with my children's father, but we're not friends. <laughs> but, um, you know, I, I've, I've definitely appreciated all the time he's allowed us to stay here. Okay, so to the planning. Right now, I've got all the, you know, uh, checklists uh, put down and the boxes in the corner and the headers. And now I'm sticking down the time slot. So I have a meeting every single weekday morning at 730 with uh, the managers in my department. It is a fun time of the day. We get to talk about you know, what uh, the day looks like and catch up from the day before um, and just talk about, you know, what uh, what the day is going to hold and, um, you know, look at uh, any kind of tickets and things that might need some attention. And so that's uh, always a fun time. It never lasts a half hour. Sometimes it's two hours or more, <laughs> but half hour it is. Um and then uh, on Mondays, we have a team meeting just to get all of the, um, you know, the customer service folks together to talk about any uh, challenges that they may have, uh, questions uh, that we can answer, that kind of good stuff. And then um, I do have training uh, that I have later on in the day on Tuesday. I stuck that down on Monday by accident, but training some new folks um, Tuesdays and Thursdays. Uh, and, you know, usually we, um, you know, we last about an hour or so. Uh, Wednesdays, we have another team meeting with a larger group. And uh, that usually is a pretty quick meeting as well. Uh, Thursday, again, training with the newbies, uh, just blocking out some time. Rarely use that, that much time these days, but it's nice to have it available just in case. Um, okay, so now I'm going to put down my regular meeting from 3 to 5. Now, I don't go to this meeting every single day, but I do like to have the time blocked off on my calendar just as a reminder that, you know, I can pop in if I need to. Um, but, you know, it's not something that I'm that I do every single day. Definitely several times a week, but uh, I like to just, uh, you know, have the time blocked off so I, I don't forget so, um, yeah, we're doing the three to five meeting and I'll give myself a second. I'm voiceovers are always really hard to do because I, <laughs> I get done talking before I'm, I'm done laying down stickers. Okay. So now I'm going to put down, uh, my on call day, which is on Mondays. I'm on call until about seven Eastern every single Monday. We each have a day that uh, that we are in charge of on-call time. I have my team meeting on Monday and my TWC meeting from three to five. I do like having script stickers. I think it just makes the planning pages look so much neater to have script stickers for um, all of the uh, time blocks that I have. I don't really like to handwrite um, my uh, my meetings and, and things in my uh, planner. Just the to-do list is really the only thing I like to, uh, to handwrite. So I am in my daily duo. I forgot to mention that. Um, I had been using a, uh, a notebook by Erin Condren and uh, and I flip back to my uh, daily duo. I like using the notebook, but um, I found that I really, I like to have a to-do list every single day. And so I decided to break out the Erin Condren daily duo again. Uh, let's see what's going on. So Sunday, I have one meeting right now. I'm doing my habit trackers. Just want to track a few things during the week. Uh, dishes and um, 
I've already forgotten what I wrote down, litter boxes and my meeting. So that last page at the end is uh, just for some weekly to-dos. So anyway, this pretty much is the end of the video. So let me know down in the comments if you have any other questions about me moving. I hope I answered some questions. You know, I don't like to really talk about the relationship what I have with I have gosh, I can't talk today, that I have with the kid's dad. But, you know, we just kind of been going through Carol Ann, and that's not ideal. And I really need to get out on my own. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this video and just me kind of chatting and talking through th some things with you. I really hope that you will leave me some more comments uh, down below and, you know, ask me any questions that you have if I, you know, haven't answered them or, um, any other tips that you might have about moving. It's been a couple of years when I moved to Arkansas from Virginia. I only packed up what I could fit in my car. And that was quite an adventure to to downsize. And I can honestly say that since I have been back in Arkansas, you know, I have felt the need to reacquire quite a bit uh, to the point where I have an abundance right now um, and, you know, definitely need to downsize uh, some more because I have acquired way too much stuff. Um, but, you know, I uh, it, it's an opportunity to really get back to uh, the basics and figure out, you know, just what I need and, and nothing more. So, um Oh, I'm going to put down my no spend because I am doing a no spend 2023, which is actually going really well, y'all. All right, guys. Well, I think that is it. I'm going to flip through and show you all the pages. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you guys for supporting my channel. And I hope you guys have a great day or night wherever you're at.